What's up, man? YouTube, what's up? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 77. And uh, I've been playing MLB a lot, so I just want to talk about mostly compare the two games. Not really the gameplay, because I don't want to get into what's harder, what's easier to play. I don't want to get into all of that. Really just more about the games, what something could be added to, or what it could be added. You know, just what we could add from Madden and add to MLB. Just improve both games by using what the other game does better, really. It does good, but... This is the podcast. I appreciate y'all joining me. I do have my mustache. I did shave the beard because we did pass 1,800 subs yesterday. Or what was it? Two days ago. I have a mustache. Stash, my, I feel like my stash is elite. It's elite, man. I feel like it's weird now because it's been like a day and a half. So all my stubble's grown in and I feel like I'm just a face full of stubble right now. You know? Uh, but I do have the stash. I am rocking that because we did pass 1,800 subs, as you guys see here below. I don't know what direction my can right here below. So I've decided to put that on the podcast. We did pass 1,800 subs. We are closing in on 1,900 subs to the channel. I make uh, the podcast sub only just to talk. Uh, obviously, you guys can watch it. But um, uh, as we talk about the community, I really just want to you know, give you guys opportunity to talk. As you see, the scroll, the chat is right there next to me. Catching up. Anybody want to talk? We can talk about it because this is a platform for us it's not for me it's not for you it's not uh not for just one particular set of people it's for everybody so we can talk about it also today i did want to talk about my wish list so many people so many people that i talk about wish lists and uh what do you want in madden 21 what do you want to fix the game you know what i'm saying and so many people do that um but for me this is my philosophy is if we start making a wish list now in what is it april yeah, April, almost May, in June and July, our wish list should be full. So I'm going to keep an official wish list for Madden 21 on the podcast. So every week we're going to add to it, talk about it. So by after two months, our wish list should be perfect, you know. So hopefully people from EA pay attention to our wish list that we make and we can kind of email it, you know, make sure Clint sees our wish list because I feel like our wish list uh, with our, you know, with all, combine all our brains and what we think uh, should be improved in a new man, it can be effective. It will probably be the most effective wish list of any group of people that put a wish list together. Honestly, um, yeah, Jay Bird, see, Jay Bird already pissed me off. See, that's just, just like, yeah, the stash is crazy, bro. I, alpha man, this, I, I will be real. The stash for me. It's it it really is it's elite man. If you can if you can honestly, if you can honestly rock a stash, that's elite stuff. Jay Bird with the sub, there it is, man. And I said we are closing in on 1,900 subs. This is the most subs I've ever had. We are in the spring of you know it's like opposite of Madden season. That's what we're at right now is the opposite of Madden season. Uh, for me to have as many subs is pretty much all you guys support and uh, just consistently. Pedal to the metal on streams and content, just consistently grinding. That's why the podcast is on episode 77. 77 straight weeks is closing in on a year and a half. I, I'm not a mathematician, but we have, what do we have, 23 more weeks until the 100th episode. And hopefully the 100th episode will be peak Madden season. I want to say maybe September, something like that. So the hundred. The 100 episode will be crazy. Yeah, the stash, it just hits different. You know, I don't even think I can get rid of the stash. I don't even think I can get rid of the stash. I think you just got to keep it. You know, that's pretty much how it is. Share, my face has never itched from facial hair ever. Like, maybe like in two days when it's a little long. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like... I don't really get itchy like my face like that from stubble. I don't know. Maybe I'm blessed. Maybe I'm not. But I have been playing a lot of MLB. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, I'm a sports fan. I feel like if you're a sports fan, you're naturally a football fan, basketball fan, baseball. I, you pretty much, if you're a sport fan, you can take some bit of joy in watching any sport, really. I don't think if you're like truly a sports fan, you can look at one sport and say, I don't like it at all. You might not be into it as much, obviously, but I don't think you can dismiss any sport if you're a sport fan. You know what I'm saying, Chad? Like, let's and I ask the chat as we go on an, um, a tangent that we always go on. Like, what's a sport do you think I really would never watch and never interested in it? You know, especially now 
during this quarantine where we haven't had any live sports or anything like that. We haven't had anything like that. So when you really look at it, uh, this is something that you wouldn't, whatchamacallit, you wouldn't watch, you know, darts. That's what we wouldn't watch, darts. Soccer? I, I honestly can't really get jiggy with soccer on either. You know what I'm saying I can't really get jo- get jiggy with soccer, but at the same time, when it's when it's high stakes like World Cup and stuff like that, I'm locked into soccer. You know what I mean? Baseball's not baseball. You need to be locked in. You need it, it, everything. Everything ratchets up. The more intensity level, the better the sport is. Really. Where's the ma- what's the maple syrup? I don't get the maple syrup joke. Do I look like a maple syrup person? NHL is unwatchable. I don't feel that way. I only watch MLB streams to see me get angry. Okay. I mean, the real people come out. I mean, I'll be honest. The real... That hurts a little bit, bro. Steve, what's up, buddy? Yeah, that hurt, man. I only watch to see me get angry. Maybe I need to get more angry during Madden. Maybe that's the key to Madden 21. We're going to up the we're going to up the rage level in Madden 21. What do you guys think? Can we up the rage level in Madden 21? Is that the vibe? Up the rage level. Rage equal viewers. <sighs> Is that it? Okay. See? Okay. I'm just going to start breaking shit. I'm going to have like fake controllers. I can, not just between us. It's only 200 people. You know, I'm, I'm obviously you guys fuck with me whether I'm breaking stuff or not. But for me, we can rock. I can tell you guys, I want to get a bunch of fake props, man. We're going to get fake controllers, fake monitors. I'm going to break this shit out of everything, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to break everything. We're going to have fake... That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have fake monitors. That's the key. Like, I'm going to go to the computer store because I know they're going to have old monitors and just buy those, just punch the shit out. Bang! Going to make it look like it went out and show the monitor. Damn, I put a, put a hole in the monitor. Blood packets. Okay, Jay Bird. Okay, we're on to some shit now. You guys are helping the entertainment value of the stream. Yes, exactly. Let's just get it really popping. Let's just up the like bald mustache man breaks hand on monitor. I'll be on Bleacher Report. We'll be on Barstool. It's the way to go. Yes. Bald mustache man kills monitor after raging. I think. I think it's honestly, I think it's honestly a good angle. I don't understand why, why do, uh, child molesters have a mustache? Why is that a thing? I I need to see an example of a child, a a mustache child molester. I don't, I really don't understand why that's, there's a correlation there. You know, I feel like you can be cool with a mustache, Right. I understand like the old white man police officer, but I don't understand the I don't understand the child mo- I don't understand that that correlation. I don't get that one. I don't like that one, honestly. I'll be a police officer. I'll be a grandfather or an uncle. I I'm cool with that. What are you doing? What? That's why I locked the door. See? You can't have any peace in the world. You can't have any peace. That's what I'm talking about. I watched To Catch a Predator. I watched it. It's actually pure entertainment. We can watch clips right now, and we will never see a man with a mustache. Let's make a bet right now. 
We will. I will definitely watch. Uh, I will YouTube top Chris Hansen moments. We'll watch five different men, and none of them will have a mustache. Can we bet on that right now? I let's let's do it right now. Top to catch a predator moments. Let's. I no one. If one has a mustache, I, I let's do it. Cause I, I honestly I don't believe you guys. I think you're full of shit. And don't go looking through the videos without me. To catch a predator, best moments. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, I think the first two I think the first two people. I can't okay, watch that video. Hold up. Oh, I think this was bad, bro. I think this is not bad. Thanks, Ann. I was daydreaming about. Well, that's it. You nude and me licking you. He's nude and thinking bad thoughts. I just never thought I would openly tell a young girl that. No mustache. It's okay with me. But as soon as I saw your pic, I was like, man, I give anything I could to have one night with her. You seem pretty confident on the internet in terms of what you wanted to do. Yep, no mustache. Uh huh. No. Calling himself Bandit 8077. Bandit. <laughs> well, I'll go give you a hug. Well, it's not Why don't you sit down, down before you give any hugs. We're going to have a little chat. Taking her out to buy okay, some clothes and pants. I think I'm over two right now. I think I'm over two. I think we're over two right now. I think, this is the Hi, first sir. one. How are you? All right, how are you doing? What's happening? Oh, he got his Getting feet married. up. He got his feet up. Getting married. She's 13 <laughs> years old, divorced, suffers from cerebral palsy, and collects social security benefits. Oh, man, poor He's guy, He's driven bro. five hours to have sex with the screen name Wrestling Dude East Tennessee. <laughs> Send me a wrestling pair of your panties. Dude. Pick a pair you want me to have and wear them for two or three days straight. So no I mustache? You. I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen no mustache. Well, I'll... I got to pee, really. No bad. mustache. I go since Before national. you do that, I've got a couple questions for you. Uh huh. What's going on? Ah, uh, that much. Calling himself, you want to come and get me 2005. <laughs> Tomb that John Raven 2000. <laughs> Yo, this shit is too funny, bro. No, I, I have seen no mustaches. Are we not five? Are we not five for five right now? Thousand is a police officer, and he's armed. So is no that. mustache. What's up? What are we investigating tonight? Nothing much. What's your plan here? Do you want your state line? No the mustache. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, we're, we're undefeated. We're undefeated. Literally. We are undefeated right now, chat. Free to go. I'm done. I'm done. First five. And no, oh, because they want to cap. Like, I searched for this. Listen. This, no, where is it? Where, 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 here we go. Look. Go back. Boom. This was the first one I watched. The first one. Or maybe it was this one. Where, no, it wasn't this one. Was this one? But that guy does have a mustache right there. This Indian man. But I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. I don't like. I don't like. No, no, I'm not doing no more. Cause I don't like that. I don't like that correlation. I think it's unfair to people with mustaches. I really do feel it's unfair to people with mustaches. That's what I'm saying. You know, I just think it's unfair to people with, with mustaches. So when I when I hear that, I don't like that. You know, cause there's a lot of great men with mustaches. Let's let's do another like like let, let's I, I I feel like we could watch videos of great men with mustaches. There it is. Here's a list right now. Geraldo Rivera, Hulk Hogan, Tom Selleck, Burt Reynolds, Charlie Chaplin. Like these are just iconic mustaches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is how I feel right now, man. I'm just saying. You guys I, I just don't like the way the way I don't like the correlation of the, 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 the you know the child molester and the mustache. I don't think it's fair. I really don't. Dr. Disrespect. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. Siwoo doesn't have a mustache. I, I feel like the mustache is elite. I do. My man Lou with the sub. There it is. Gardner Minshew. Ted Hendricks. Super Mario. There it is. It's just not... A, it's not... I Honestly, we watched... We just saw like 10... 
child molesters, and there was not one with a mustache. So blind my guy with this up. So for me, I, I honestly Riley Fingers, Kurt Angle. I think my my razor has five blades. I don't razor my face ever. I just use I have like the Norelco shit, the little one blade shit. I got that. Yeah, I didn't know Kurt Big Show was definitely the glitch. I mean Ron is Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson is the super glitch. I'm just I'm just telling you guys. The mustache is elite. Elite is the word. Wade Boggs is a good man. At least shape like what how much what was what uh, shape it up? What the fuck do I look like? What is this? The barbershop? Shape it up. Clef be wildin'. Clef got a wrestler that's going to play tight end and, and they think they're going to the Super Bowl. That's pretty much... We don't want to talk about that. I don't really want to talk about the... Uh, whatchamacallit. About the Buccaneers right now. The mustache is elite, bro. Like, what the... Like... Oh, my God. I'm over you fuckers. Y'all dudes better have the y'all y'all dudes better have the most shaped up. Y'all must have the most shaped up, the most shaped up mustaches I ever ever. Like y'all 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 should better be like I'm 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 clowning everybody. Literally everybody's getting clowned. Don't listen. Everybody post pictures. Like I I want I want I'm gonna make a thread of just I'm gonna make a thread on Twitter. Post your picture of what the fuck y'all look like. Cause y'all should better be crispy. Cause I feel like the stash is crispy. It fills up my lip. I have no hole in it. You know what I'm saying? There's no holes here. It's full. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see this fucker. Let me see my... What's my... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? John is clean, bro. It's clean. What do y'all want? Y'all want me to put some fucking dye in it and make some lines? You want some lines here? You know what I'm saying? What more do y'all want? Some people never satisfied. And they always worried about my shit. Why are they worried about my shit? Damn, grown ass men. Damn. Yeah. Imagine fucking lining your beard up. Like, what fucking women are y'all? Why don't we line up my eyebrows? Make sure my eyebrows are clean. Like, bro, get the fuck. Ain't none of y'all crispy. None of y'all. Cr- Jesse, I done seen your corny ass facial. All right, that's it. Jesse getting roasted. Jesse is number one getting roasted right now. Jesse, say sorry. I want sorry with a period at the end or you getting roasted right now. Jesse, I want sorry in the chat. Sorry in the chat. Jesse, I want fucking S-O-R-R-Y right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. I mean, listen. I didn't want to go down this road, Chad. I really didn't want to go down this road during the podcast. I really didn't want to go down this road. But they want to roast me. I don't want to get roasted. You know what I'm saying? My shit way more crispy than than Jesse hair, bro. Like I don't I don't I don't want Jesse to cr- I don't want it, like bro. A man with this hairline and this mustache cannot cannot crack. Like he can't like yo. That's what I'm saying. Yo, he lets his white woman cut his hair. The one million percent. When you look at this picture. The number one take I take away from this picture is that fucking Becky cuts his hair with scissors. One million percent. But my mustache is fucked up. My mustache is fucked up, right? This is what Canadians get, bro. Canadians crack at me, you know what I'm saying? No mustache ass having dudes, bro. It's fucking nuts. 
Why do we have seven pictures of you with naked men? Why is this? Why is why is there four or five pictures of this, bro? Questionable. Just a real questionable life. Yo. This is the people that that's cracking on me. For real. This is really the people that's cracking on me. Who's next? Who's next, bro? That's all I'm saying. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? That's all I'm asking. Who's next? Do we want to keep going? Yo, she really works at Supercuts? She don't really work at Supercuts. That's, that's all I'm done. Nobody else want to... Nobody else wants to... Nobody else wants to bust jokes. You know what I'm saying? I said, ain't nobody else want to... Can I get back to the show I want to talk about? It? I said, nobody else want to tell jokes. Dude get his hair cut with a fucking butter knife and shit and want to tell jokes about me. Talk about my, my mustache. He don't have a mustache. Bro. He don't have... How do you not... Listen. That's the number one rule. A man without a mustache can't crack on the mustache. Number one rule. That is the number one violation. Some of y'all go to bed waking up praying that your mustache grows in. Butter knife haircut with no mustache and they got the jokes. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Who next? Who is next? Who is next? Rest my case, man. I rest my case. A Cataplar? Vax, you want to see what on this? Cataplar? Yeah. There ain't no mustache emo, bro. The mustache life is going to be over in like one more day. And then this shit going to be dark enough. I'm actually going to have to cut off my neck hairs and shit. You know. Nobody can really crack. That's what I'm saying. Nobody can really joke with me. I'm a bald old white guy with a mustache. And nobody has jokes for me. Literally, none of y'all have jokes for me. Nobody. That's what's crazy. Nobody. It's not a man that has jokes for me. Man, nah, man. Make sure y'all follow me on IG. Make sure y'all do that. I need to get my IG followed. My IG is ass. I have three. I don't even have three thousand followers. Oh, yeah. The joke's corny, man. Nobody can joke with me. A man with no mustache. I don't think Jesse has ever been in a barber shop. They don't even have barber shops in Canada. A black Canadian, bro. A black Canadian is just not. Is not going to tell jokes on me. It's just not happening. For real. Drake Drake didn't even go to a barbershop until he became famous, bro. Y'all remember Drake from Degrassi. Let's not let's not think Drake was always cool. Let's be real. He didn't, it, it took till he got famous for him to really pop up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's be what's a more distinguished name? Christopher or Jesse? Like what? Jesse? Yeah. Drake is the only thing Canadians have. That's all, bro. That's all Canadians have is just we got Drake. But Drake was corny until he came to America. Yeah. Now, now Canada's lit. All right. Oh man, I swear to God, we just, why we just go down these we just go down these these wild ass. Tangents, man. Jesse, bro. Mama. Yo, you can... Ne- There's the number one person you... Yo, number one human being you can never trust is a black man with a widow's peak. Cannot trust a black man with a widow's peak. Y'all hair not even supposed to grow like that. Because one, if you have a widow's peak as a black man, you have to cut that shit every other day. For real. For real. Think about it. Think about it. Let's think about it of a cool black man with a widow's peak. 
Matter of fact, let's think about let's think about just cool people with widow's peak. I'd rather have no hair than a widow's peak. A widow's peak is the corniest shit you can get. Oh, yo, it's just Eddie Munster. That's all you look like, Eddie Munster, bro. Like, let, let's let let let's. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's compare. Would you rather be bald or have a widow's peak? Bang. My point exactly. Boom. Bald. Exactly, Jesse. You know he is scumbag. Widow's Peak, bro. Especially, I'm telling you, Crush. Crush is a scumbag. We, how many? Crush, good guy. My good friend, scumbag. That's why I have to realize, man. You had, you can be friends with scumbags. It'd be okay. Just because they're a scumbag doesn't mean you can't be a friend with them, bro. Do do we? How many times in the, in the podcast have we gone over the way Crush stares at women? The scumbag. All Widow's Peak, bro, nobody with Widow's Peak has game. Have you ever seen somebody with a Widow's Peak go bag a chick? Example, Jesse. He cuffed the first white woman he met at Supercuts. Just his wife. If you're 19 years old and you're 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 cuffed on social media, you're a loser. One million, I'm just that's just that what it is. 19 years old and you're cuffed on social media. Loser. That's it. Loser. Yeah. 19, been married six years. First woman that played with his penis, he was smiled and settled down. Killing me, bro. But I can't have a mustache. I can't have a mustache. You know what I'm saying? Man can't have a mustache. I got to line my mustache up. Oh, 19 was wild times, man. 19, 19 was bad. 19 was bad. We can't even talk about 19. There is no chill at the podcast. Because y'all are mean. When y'all start calling me a pedophile, that shit made me... Everybody has white vangels. We just looked at 10 pedophiles. None of them had a mustache. You know? Made me feel some type of way. And all I asked was Jesse to say sorry. Chat, did I not give my friend Jesse plenty ample time to say sorry? He didn't want to say sorry. Sometimes when I step over the line, as a man, I can say sorry. You know? You know what? Maybe I went too far. Sorry. And we move on as family. But I gave, I gave him ample time. He got a countdown and everything. And he said, fuck that. That's what he said. So let's go back to him going to Supercuts. Getting his his widow peak cut with scissors and falling in love with Samantha. And now look at him now. Cuffed on IG. Hate to see it. Yeah, hate to see it. Because he's going to look back on his life when he's my age with his fucking mustache. When his mustache finally grows in, he's going to be like, damn, I was a dickhead. Like, Because like, we all have moments where we can look back in our life. Damn, I was a dickhead. I probably have more than most, you know. But you're going to look back like, damn, I was a dickhead. Canada, bro. He's not even from the real Canada. Bro, he's from Ottawa. Do y'all know where Ottawa is? Ottawa is the, the equivalent of Montana for America. That's Ottawa. It just sounds ugly. Where are you from? Ottawa. Like, what? There is no way that there's a cool person that has ever been from Ottawa. I'm Googling it right now. Famous people from Ottawa. Let's find out. Famous people from Ottawa. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Y'all got Dan Aykroyd. Oh, man. That's all. I don't even know nobody else. Oh, oh, your man Jay Bruchel ain't that the dude from uh from that, all the comedy movies? Yeah, Jay Bruchel is from what's it? Not Pineapple Express. Tropic Thunder. Okay, he's a funny guy. I don't know who Paul Anka is. Margaret Atwood, Justin Tredo. Yeah. Ottawa so ass. Like, I want to just show y'all where Ottawa because this is pissing me off. Because I feel like you guys don't f truly, truly understand how ass Ottawa is. 
like how ass this is. Like yo, ass this is, bro. Like you can't drive nowhere. Like you, you just you gotta take a flight everywhere, bro. Oh no, Ottawa ain't that damn. Ottawa, you just here, bro. Boom. Ottawa. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek is not from Ottawa. He's not from Ottawa. Canada has some nice nature. Bro, Sergeant Slaughter is a legend, bro. Legend, bro. This is a legend. First of all, his mustache is not that elite. And this picture is not that elite, bro. I might need this hat. I might need this hat for Call of Duty streams. I might need this hat. Do we have it? Disappointing right here. Disappointed. Disappointed. That's a that's man right there. Does he have a baldy? Oh, no. He let me down with the hair. I mean, that's kind of what my hair would look like if I let it grow back. Like, if I let my hair grow back, that's I, we might be rocking with one of those. Okay. Here we go. Old Sergeant Slaughter. Okay. Okay. Now, his mustache is not elite, bro. His mustache is not elite. Okay. Okay, no, my hair would not look this crazy. My hair would not look this crazy. That's how problems should be looking. When problems should grow in, that's how it should be looking. No, nah, my shit ain't, bro. This is bad. Yo, why they had this old man out here wrestling, bro? And look at this guy. This is like the Spanish version. Who is this fucking guy? This guy is hell. <laughs> Yo, who is this guy? Chat, who is this guy, bro? Iron Sheik? Oh, he's hell. This is my new favorite dude, bro. Yeah, his mustache is elite. Oh, yeah. This is my guy. Oh, yeah. This dude is... Uh, I mean, he's a little Arab. I'm not really the Arab type. But his his swag is 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 unmatched. You know what I'm saying his swag is unmatched. I can't really get jiggy with the A Rabs, but you know, I'm not a I'm 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 a white, you know, Anglo-Saxon as they <laughs> as they say. Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik. I mean, he do look Spanish. The Arabs look kind of Spanish. You know? But, man, can I talk about... <sighs> All right, so there's none of y'all want to tell any more jokes, man. White people did pave the way. But I do want to talk about Madden and MLB chat. Now, I don't know how many of you guys play baseball and play. Obviously, we probably all play Madden. Do, do all you guys play the baseball or have played the baseball or have at least watched the baseball streams or watched or played it or paid any attention to the MLB game? That's what I want to know because this is how I feel a little bit. Right, chat? 
to all all bald people look alike. This is how this is how looks work. Honestly, though, if you're if you had the same facial hair and the same hairstyle, y'all look alike. Okay, now, but I don't know if you guys can agree with my philosophy in this here is that when you do something right, this is your trade. No matter what it is, you guys can tell me what your jobs are, like what's your profession, what's your career, what's your field that you're working now. It could be flipping burgers. It could be cutting down trees like I did a lot. It could be laying bricks. It could be being an artist. It could be, you know, selling used cars, whatever it may be, right? So, say I have a used car, a used car lot. Let's go. My man can't make soap. There he is. Okay. Say I have a used car lot, right? Or I'll take Kent. Let's take Kent. He makes soap. He he works at uh, what's it called? Victoria's Secret. He makes soap. They they come to Kent balling you up and they say, "Soap man, soap man, we needed a new citrus soap of the month right now." So he's making his soap. He's putting out his citrus soap. Meanwhile, he looks at Bed Bath & Beyond, right? Or Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works, probably, when you think about soaps and moisture, you think about they probably had the best. Now, they start putting out their citrus soap. Now, if Kent is a good soap maker, he'll he'll take a look. And, and, he, and you guys can talk in the chat, right? You guys can talk in the chat and let me know. If in your field, do you pay attention to... I feel like a good, a good businessman always pays attention to what his competition is doing, right? Okay, they're putting out their yellow citrus soap. Okay, their citrus soap, they're putting it out in 22-ounce bottles, you know? And they're they're doing it this way and that way. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck ever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just... It's all, all comparison, chat. But that's what I'm saying. So, Kent works for Bath, Bath, Bath & Body Works, right? So, he's putting out his citrus yellow soap, right? And he looks for the competition and says, Oh, they're putting out a little bit bigger soap. Okay, they're doing something a little bit more effectively, right? You know what I'm saying? So, I always think... Let's and then if you're gonna make your soap be as good as the next guy or better than the next guy, let's incorporate all the good things that this soap maker puts into his soap and let's add it to mine. You know, if they have a cute little pump on the top of their soap, I'm gonna steal that pump and add it to my soap. Cause I already know my soap is better than theirs. The only thing that's appealing about their soap is their pump. But if I steal their pump, now I have their pump and the good soap. So pretty much for me is that. When you have a good product, always try to find ways to improve it. And the best way to improve it is to go find what somebody else does good and steal it. No, no, Ken, I'm serious. Like, like, no, you always want to improve, man. And like, you can look at a business model for anywhere and say there's pros and cons to it. We can sit, we can sit here and talk about Madden. What's the pros and cons of Madden? Or what's the pros and cons of this coloring book, you know? This coloring book doesn't really have that many pages, but the next one does. Maybe this coloring book manufacturer should add more pages. Just to make your product the most superior product it can possibly be, right? Take the good parts of other products and disregard the negative ones. So for me, I think there's so many positives from MLB that Madden could take. You know, and... and and kind of vice versa. Kind of vice versa. Number one thing, and I'm going to go to my little... Let's talk about the positive things that Madden has that MLB doesn't have. Number one thing is Weekend League. MLB Weekend League would be absolutely awesome. Period. I think it's something they need to incorporate. Now, I, I tell you, I like I said, I have been in the MLB scene for not even a month yet. But it's been fun. But I think weekend league would be awesome for MLB, right? I think that I think I think weekend league is one of the biggest positives Madden has and EA has. Period. Is weekend league. Um, golden tickets, another great thing EA has, right, Chad? Golden tickets, something something that um, MLB could have, sort of almost like creative players. You can pretty much pick any player. Uh, let's put Babe Ruth at, at, at catcher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, MLB Weekend League would be super sweaty. You know, so those are some of the positives that Madden has. You know, and if I'm Madden and I see these other games, and and, and you have to know that Madden, if you're mark, if you're making a business in gaming, you kind of got to be hip to all the other gaming things. Like me, honestly, 
streaming, I feel like I became a better streamer when I started watching other streamers. When I say that, I mean I started watching other streamers in other games uh, and the way they put on a show, the way they put on overlays, the way they put on, the way they just have an overall, like just their entire stream production. Mine got better from watching other streamers outside of Madden and being stuck in this cocoon of you can only be a sports gamer, you can only watch sports streams. I got better when I branched out and started watching other people, honestly. You could have chems. You could also have soccer. That, that baseball could do. If I have five players from the Phillies in my lineup, they get boosted five and everything, something like that. Team chemistries. That could be cool for MLB too that they could steal from. The mustache, the people I've seen do the mustache. First of all, every time I would cut off my beard, my sister always left my mustache. I saw problem, problem shaved on mustache. Then I saw Throne had a mustache. Dr. Disrespect always has a mustache. The mustache is cool. And like I said, I feel like my mustache is elite. You know what I'm saying? But then that's also a thing like, okay, you find, like, I'm telling you, as, as, as anything you do, you can steal or essentially be influenced. Like, that's not, I mean, when you say stealing, it makes it look so bad, but you can be influenced by so many, you can be influenced by so many things, you know? You know? But let's take a look. I made a list of things that MLB does. I mean, she didn't like it, Sammy, but uh, listen, this will all be back in another day or two. It's really influence, Justin. That's what it is. So you got it. Like inspiration, influence. So we go. Where do we go? Oh, yeah. Let's go here. I did make a list of all the things. Where are we at with it? That I feel like MLB does good. And these are all the things that I feel like Madden could steal from man. The first one is buying buying coins directly. Buying coins directly from the store. I don't know if that's ever a positive. I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. Ultimately, what do we think? Is that? But I, do you guys think that's a positive? I I don't even know. Obviously, I like it because you can spend. You know what you're spending. You know what you're buying. This player costs that much. So, I don't. Yeah, sure, but part of me is like, as much as the gambling hurts, as much as the gambling hurts, like money-wise, chat. This is what I'm saying. It's more. It, it's more. It's more fun. It's weird. It's weird to say that it's more fun because it costs us more money, and it's it's very it's not money effective, but it's it's more exciting. You know. You know, it's more exciting for me. It buying a pack. Now I will tell you this: it is unhealthy, and, and uh, but for me, it's like I don't know. It's kind of I, it's like boring, you know. Honestly, salary cap wouldn't be so expensive as if it wasn't for training, and, and we're gonna talk. That's part of the reason why I do want to start talking about chat. I do want to start talking about. Um, a wish list for Madden 20. I do want to start talking about a wish list for Madden 20 because if we do it every day or every week for the next two months, we'll have a really good list and we can really talk about it. Um, you know, that way, because we could talk about wish list shit all the time, but buying stubs is probably the biggest positive of MLB. The one thing about buying stubs is like you can make I feel like you can make your pack odds terrible if you give us the opportunity to buy stubs because then it's like what what can we really complain about pack odds wise if we can buy the stubs we want you feel what I'm saying chat trade ball there he is so I feel like because they put the buying stubs in there they can make the odds pretty ridiculous, you know. 
But I think buying coins would be boring. It is kind of boring. That's the word I'm... Even for someone... Even because it would save us so much money, it sounds stupid that I would say it's boring. But it's kind of boring, bro. That's all... Like... MLB... I paid all the money to get Mickey Mantle. Kind of boring. I don't know. It's just like... You know, and I, I they'll never do that. Uh, but it's just a topic. I, I think it's one of the pros of MLB because it does give you the option, really, to just buy the coins. Boom. You know, I honestly the, the the training program for Madden really made it super complicated. It was never this complicated back before the train. The training program is what kind of just like this shit is nuts. But it, but the training program also has a lot of positive. But all right, let's. I, I, I think the buying of stubs, buying of coins, uh, all that, all of that is like its own separate topic. Honestly, its own separate show. Really, you know. You know. But let's talk about. All right, let's talk about the custom team and the jerseys. Now, for me, I feel like I always have between whether it's two K. Or is MLB? My jerseys are already always super clean and super tough. Do we think custom jerseys on a custom team, essentially, in Madden would be cool? You know what I'm saying? Was that something you guys would want? I really do think the whole uh, people having penises on their jerseys. MLB, I have run into more shitty, ugly jerseys and, and corny, like, penises and balls on the jerseys more than I have good jerseys. You know, custom jerseys. I, 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 honestly, for me personally, I, my, it would be a W for me. I don't know how they would do it. Would it be more of a 2K where you can upload the logo? I like. I honestly, what's what's kind of cracked is that I like MLB because it was so hard for me to make the logo that not everybody can make a logo. <laughs> not everybody can do that. So it's pretty cool. But I think it does make it. Yeah, but our award. So they're already short staffed on everything else. So let's hire somebody to make sure the jerseys are not, you know, explicit. You know, I think, I think one thing I I do think, um, <sighs> custom playbooks are trash. No, I don't want to talk custom. I, that's a that's a topic all alone, but custom playbooks are I, I feel like they are super trash, uh, just because it just ruins. I, I I'll say this: one of the parts of being a Madden player is deciding what offense you want to run. Every offense is is runnable, but you know some playbooks have downsides and some have positives and negatives. You know you have to decide which one you're going to run with. You're going to have to decide the sacrifices you're going to make offensively. Uh, to run your best stuff offensively. Now, if you have custom playbooks, you'll just have everything, and there'll be no decision, really. All right, custom custom playbooks are that's just that's just. Now, at the same time, as a football person. Why the hell can't I run that play? You know, like when you really think about it from a football sim type of standpoint, why the hell am I limited to only having dive and power O? If I wanna if I want to audible to a stretch, why can't I audible to a stretch, you know? Yeah. But limiting but limiting people offensively and defensively has been around Madden forever. It's part of Madden. It's not part of football, but it's part of Madden, you know, and that's where you have to kind of separate the two and people don't do it really like really ever, man. Yeah, that's so comp playbook is definitely a uh, a sim player type of vibe. Like I want to be able to run the stretch in the bag. It's just no. You know, 
All right. What up? We talked about custom team of jerseys. I think it'd be great. Some people think it would be stupid. And and as far as I'm concerned, it probably would be shitty. It probably would end up being shitty, but, you know. Created player. Let's talk about that. Obviously, I've had the most fun having a created player on um, MLB. Do you think a created player could be implemented in Madden? Could we all have a created player pick this position? Can't be too tough, but we can make this created player. And essentially the same the same type of system could be made. You know? Yeah, created player, as I'm thinking about it now, and I, I do it around in my head a little bit as I made this list, but um, I'm thinking about it more now. I think for for um, for the um, for Mutt, I think created player would be kind of cool. You know, obviously not make him super tough. Maybe kind of he can get upgraded. First of all, I want to be able to upgrade my own sliders. If I get a team captain token every month, boom. And I get like 10 attribute points for each one. I want to put up what I want to put up. All right? Like if I want to make my man 99 speed and 13 strength, I want to make that that way. You know? Yes. It the comp- Obviously, uh, yes. And any salary cap or anything like that, uh, the creative player should not be allowed to play. The creative player should just be for fun. Makes sense uh, when I'm saying that? Like for fun. Kind of how Mutt is. It's just for fun. Like this shit really doesn't mean nothing. It's for fun. You know? Yeah, 900. Yeah, exactly. Can't be used in salary cap. I would say... Uh, I would say each time... like Kind of like Shazir. Each time you get a token, you can upgrade whatever spot you want. You know? I feel like you can change... Yeah, like a power-up. Every token you get every month, you get one token. And you can upgrade whatever the hell you want. You know, I feel like you can change the sliders. You know. Uh, having Mutt competitive on Mutt. That's something we've talked about a lot. Uh, I would like to see I would like to see what Mutt looks like on all Madden. I would like to see what Mutt looks like when the best players play against each other, honestly. We have always known around. I, I think it would be a super positive. I think it would be a super positive. Challenges during a token. Also, the more your player plays. And that's one thing we'll talk about, man. Uh, like, and we'll keep going down the list, but we'll talk about like the creative player. As I have on this list, prestige cards, uh, things like that. Where if, okay, if I if I say I have a middle linebacker, dub dot W, right? And he gets, you know, a thousand tackles in mutt head to head. Or weekend league, boom, he goes up to a ninety-two or some shit. That I think that would be awesome, you know. I mean, I, I think there should be, I think, like I said, it should be this player gets a thousand tackles. Now, if you play solos, maybe it's five hundred tackles, or you play a thousand tackles online. I feel like the 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 challenge is you should be able to play solos for them or online head to head, you know. Yeah, kind of like 2K, how 2K, like, all right, if I go play in the rec center, I put up 60 points, boom, I'll get X amount of XP, boom, something like that. Kind of just like a 2K player that you can play with on your Mutt team. My man Xavier with the gift of my guy, thank you. You know, so I think that would be a good idea. I think it's something they could do, create a little more interest. All right, now let's talk about the ranking system. Uh, I don't know if you guys have... Like, I asked you guys if you played MLB or, or watched, like, the... I, I think the ranking, like, the head-to-head matchup, the system in, in MLB is pretty... I mean, that I feel like it's pretty damn solid. I think it's a W. I do... Um, at the same time, I feel like matchmaking in Madden is pretty good. You know, I think it's solid. Uh, so I think if you ask me something, if you asked me the strength, one of the strengths of Madden for me would be matchmaking. You know, uh, matchmaking would be really tough uh, to change from Madden. But the ranking system for uh, MLB, I think it's a better system than the current Mutt Head to Head one. What current Mutt Head to Head is really like. Um, you play this season, move up to this bracket. 
I mean, the Mudhead the Head one is not terrible. <clears throat> now, I think Madden Matchmaking... This is how I feel about Madden Matchmaking. You will always... Like, if you're... If you're X amount number on the leaderboard and you search at the same time as somebody that's close to your leaderboard, you'll match up, you know? I honestly think Madden... I, I don't think Madden has bad matchmaking. I feel like you always play somebody around your skill level, really. Yeah, I, I don't think... Honestly, I don't feel... I don't feel um, Madden is bad matchmaking. And this is how I feel... The one thing about MLB is cool to like, let me strive to get to 900 or let me strive to get to 700. I don't feel like there's anything like that in Madden. You feel me? Like, can we reach some, a goal like that in Madden where we're anticipating or excited to get to the next level? I think that's a really cool aspect of MLB that Madden, I guess, I guess Madden is different for me because I'm good at it and MLB, I'm just a shitter. So it's like, I'm fighting for every point. So I, I don't know. Maybe there is stuff like that. Um, you know, so maybe if I was a 500, <sighs> when I talk so much, bro, I just like lose oxygen, but, uh, yes, uh, opponent stats and record. Yeah. Carl, I don't know what you're asking me. I am getting old, like, just nonstop talking. Sometimes, like, my throat, I talk for, like, an hour straight. Like, even when I play the game, like, you'll t I'll take, like, a minute of not talking. Yeah. But then I went on to my the events. Events are pretty cool, and I'm assuming events, uh, I guess it correlates with some type of house rules where like, okay, you'll get this card if you get 50 wins on house rules. I guess it's similar. You know, it's shorter games on house rules. So I guess that's kind of the, the, the comp for events is house rules, really. I, I do agree man rewards are really good. Uh, the free 99s. The free 99s, the MLB. Um, let's, let's put it like this. MLB, I feel like you need 15 card, 15 to 20 cards. I feel like you can get away with 15 cards, right? Between pitchers and your your starters and a couple bullpen guys, right? Madden, how many cards do we need in Madden? 30? You know, but for right now, if you look at my team, of my 20 cards, let's say 20. Let's make the number 20. We need 20 cards in, in MLB. I want to say four... Four of my guys, I've earned 99s just from playing a game, just from ranking up. And uh, four out of 20, so that's two out of 10, that's one out of five. 20% of my roster is simply from playing the game. Um, Madden is close to that because Madden does give us, what I was saying, Madden does, yes, Madden does give you Tory Holt. Probably the best receiver in the game. 99 everything, right? They give you Pat Tillman. Probably at one point was the best safety. Not really the best safety right now. But at one point, he's a 99. Boom, two cards. They give you your team captain. So Shazier, whoever it may be. That's another. That's three cards that you get 100% for free. So three out of 30 is like 10%. So if we could upgrade, I would say maybe make four cards we get for free. That's all I'm saying. I think it's pretty cool. That the best cards in MLB are kind of free. When at the same time, man has done a good job of giving us more free cards, really. You know, so I think that's a, that's a comparable thing between both. Yeah, between both games, I think it's pretty comparable. You know. And the collections. Um, What's pretty cool is the collections about MLB is that, okay, say I... Uh, I'm saying like this. Uh... Yeah, Superstar Knockout could definitely do better rewards. It'd be a cooler... It would be a cooler mode, Superstar Knockout, if it had better rewards. But collections are cool, and I'll tell you why the collection MLB are cool. Because I bought all the cards to get Mickey Mantle. So essentially, I get... Say... Say, say I bought all the cards to get, you know, Night Train Lane, right? But in Madden, when you put them in a collection, boom, they're off into the dust. MLB, you put them in a collection, they're still on your team. That is probably the biggest, 
thing that's going. And I, I and I, I swear they had these collections in the past. Let me get every Eagle player and I get Reggie White. Let me get every Browns player and I get Jim Brown. Let me get every, you know, Texans player and I get Eddie George. Something like that. You know, when I say Texans, te- Texans, who is like an Oiler player? Warren Moon. Let me put every Texans player together and I get Warren Moon. I think that's a cool collection to have, really. Yeah, well, I want it back, Vasquez. You know, yeah, I, like even even if I don't, uh, even if I don't, what you call it? Even if I don't use the card, I still want it. You know what I'm saying? Prestige cards, probably one of the coolest things in the game. That you know, say I get my Randy Moss, and this kind of goes. Both of these these uh these things right here kind of go together. The stats, keep track of the stats I put on all my Randy Moss. You know, if I get a Randy Moss and I got to get 100 touchdowns with him and he becomes a 99, that's fucking awesome. Period. Now, we can go to, oh, well, you can just boost it, blah, 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 that type of shit. I'm not a cry. I'm not that type of person. I think it's fun to have goals for cards. I think having goals when you set out to a game is cool. Uh it's, I don't know. I just like the whole prestige thing about MLB. You know, play 100 games with Randy Moss, get 2,000 catches with Randy Moss, get 1,000 touchdowns with Randy Moss, whatever it may be. I, I think uh, I think it would be pretty tough, you know. So I think that's more positives. Yeah, of course. I think the online. But at the same time, Mike, I feel like you got to have something for the solos. I mean, they would find a way to boost it like shit against the computer, you know? But you got to have something for the solos. Maybe like this. Maybe like, okay, you can boot, You can get... This is my thing. No, but this is what I'm saying. You can get your touchdowns with Randy Moss, but you can't get more than four in one game, right? So they got... So if you really want to be a solo grinder, then play the game for real. Don't go out there and get 16 touchdowns each game. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, Madden got to step up their pack animation. Oh, Tyler, bro. Oh, I'm getting, that just made me sleepy as hell reading that shit. Oh, man, that made me sleepy. That made me sleepy. Made me sleepy. You know? Made me sleepy. My man Cole, man. There he is in tier one. Definitely made me sleepy. I So those are just things like if I was if I was working at, at Madden, those are some of the things I would definitely um I would look to steal or or be influenced by or my inspiration to do those things. That'd be one of my inspirations, uh, would be those those little aspects of MLB and some things that I took away from playing it for about a month. I did see the Lamar theme. It looked pretty cool, honestly, wouldn't it? I liked it. It was fly. But, hmm, you got to understand, man. Madden and EA, they probably pay in-house, like, uh, in-house graphic dudes, buku bucks. They're probably on a contract, like, you know, and it's it's kind of like you can't, you know, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, so EA, you're in a company, right? And you, you need a graphic design people because obviously you need card art guys. You need an overlay for the game. You need practice more overlays. You need the head up display. You need all that stuff. There's people that design those things, you know, specifically I design you know, overlays for video games and so on and so forth. Or overlays for menus and video games. I want to make the cover for Madden. So EA picks those guys out. And honestly, EA is such a big company. They probably have it in-house, right? So how could, what do they look like? What would they look like saying, fuck all these hundred people we have hired to do this. 
let's go use this guy from Twitter, his, his shit, instead of the people we hired and we think are the best in the world. So, like, it's like, so for me, obviously, it's like, whoa, that looks, for us, yo, that shit looks cool. But how can you possibly expect a company to say, fuck all the people we hired and the people we think are the best. I'm going to use this random dudes on Twitter, even though this shit is fire. It could be the best cover ever, but they could never go say, all right, your your work is better than the people we have in house, in-house. Oh, EA stuff is solid. It's It's solid. I mean, it's the most professional it could be, bro. I mean, it could have the overlap. I mean, you know, my stuff is, Jesse, my stuff is top-notch, bro. This is a top-notch production. And it's only getting better, man. I'm cooking with gas this off-season. Just know that. We're cooking with gas. Everybody's shit going to the next level. But I do want to start the official wish list. I do want to start this. You know? I do want to start a wish list. And I figure if we add one solid thing to the wish list every week, we'll have a tough ass wish list. You know, I don't think wish list is something that you can put on one show or you can talk about for one hour. I think it's honestly something that we have to build up over time. You know what I'm saying, chat? It's tough to um It's tough to, you know, talk about all this in one session. I feel like you really need to go ahead and and really talk about it. New scoreboard, Jehovah, that's a good point, man. We can put that as number one. New scoreboard. No, in all seriousness, bro, when you think about the first thing that comes to mind, right? The first thing that comes to mind as far as a wish list, locked in audibles. I mean that's 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 kind of fire, honestly. I mean I can't even argue that 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 could be the number one number one response locked in audibles. And honestly, I think what when listen, I kind of want to make a realistic and a ple a a a, a, a hell mary list, a, a different sections, right? All right, relax. Hear me on this. Hear me on this. I feel like some things are super realistic, right? Locked in audibles, I feel like that's fucking realistic. Is it not? Like, we could do that. Locked in formation subs. I feel like that's realistic. You know? Yes, I know, Hulk. They, that, that, all right, let's just... Uh, all right, let's, let's settle down. I think I think locked in I think there's super realistic requests on a wish list and there's there's like pipe dreams. Like make pursuit good is like shit's probably not gonna happen. Let's just let's just be honest, some shit is probably still gonna suck. You know? Like we can be we can be dumbasses. Right, chat? Seriously. We can be dumbasses. Crossplay, yes, pipe dream. All right. Let's do that. Let's do this. Realistic wish list. Boom, right there. Other side, right here. Pipe dream. Why is it called a pipe dream? Y'all have heard that. Y'all have heard that, right? That term, pipe dream? Why is it called pipe dream? Am I tripping when I when I say pipe dream? Have y'all heard that? Why is it called that? Is it a crack pipe? Like, I was on a pipe. That's why, that's why I made that wood. Vilma, is that it? <laughs> it was like, like, I was on the pipe, so that's why I made that wood. Just, hold on, wait. We gotta find out. <laughs> An unattainable or fix, uh, or fanc- fanciful hope or scream. The 
the origin of the phrase pipe dream. Today I found out the origin of the phrase pipe dream, meaning a fantastic hope or plan that generally regarded as being nearly impossible to achieve. The phrase first popped up in the 19th century with the earliest known documented case coming from Chicago, Illinois, specifically coming from the December of 1890 issue of Chicago Daily Tribune. In this case, referring to the aerial navigation, it has been regarded as a pipe dream for a good many years. What? Like what? Yeah, another reference, blah, blah, blah. There are things taking place every day in Chicago. Are, are we just going pipe dream, bro? I, I'm getting confused, bro. Like, who wants to read this much about pipe dream, bro? Oh, there it is. Okay. Which can be verified by the words several reputable men would have long received... Space intention marriage blah, 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 of an opium. Okay, so in other words, we're on the opium pipe, and then we just start dreaming. Paragraph three. Oh, there it is. Yet another reference. See, that's what happens when it's time for me to read. Once I get through two paragraphs, if you're not hitting me with the shits, I'm out of here. Yet another reference in Chicago in September of 1895 demonstrates the true origin of phrase in terms of meaning, namely as a reference to the dreams experience when smoking opium. Boom. Pipe dreams. These are our wish lists for the for I uh, listen, we will work on these every single week. I want to add two one thing to each every week, chat. Okay? That's all I want. That's all I want to add. I don't want to go crazy because we can sit here for an hour. I want to add one thing every week. Are you guys with me? Alright, so let's see. Realistic wish list. I think the first one I put saved audibles yeah i think i locked in audibles boom is that not are we not in agreement that that's a cool ass realistic wish list boom i mean you can do the depth chart the depth chart isn't a problem that's realistic right All right, let's all settle down. I think that's the one thing we're going to add to the wish list, okay? Now, let's talk about pipe dream. Is pipe dream crossplay? Is that what we're putting for pipe dream right away? What, what, what did I put this? Crossplay gameplay and market. Hmm. Sell coins. I think crossplay is a good one. I think we could all agree that would be fire. Uh I don't know why. I mean, you know what's crazy? Like if you could have if you can have crossplay on Call of Duty and Fortnite and, and I what other games have crossplay? Oh seriously. I really think it's just Call of Duty and Fortnite, right? Right now. Because I know Apex doesn't have it. I don't really know what other shooting games. Rocket League has it. Yo, yo the last 10 games were fire. <laughs> Back on 360, the last 10 games? PUBG has it. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Like, if you can have it on shooting games, why couldn't you have it on Madden, dude? That's what it's kind of really... You know? Yeah, so so those are the two things I feel like. Uh, two things we can add. If y'all want to add some more. But I fully want these fulfilled all the way up. You know, I want these two, these two wish lists filled all the way up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you think MLB will have crossplay? Um, uh, Matt, this is just a wish list of things we want to happen in our summer. You know, just things we want. You know, in the summertime, like you know, we want to go to the shore. We want to have a picnic. Jaybird said he wants to go on a date. You know, those are pretty much the wish list that we're having. Talking about that, you know.
auction house maximum at 1 million coins. Nah, that's dumb. Yeah, sending a spy would be a good one. I, that, honestly, that's one of the reasons why rolling out is so good. Pro Bowls, it would just be a standoff, though. Like, you know what I mean? I honestly think, how about this, Pro Bowls? What if, what if regs, now we talk about regs, which is fucking nuts to even talk about this. But, uh, because regs is what we all play. What if regs had different brackets? Do you guys, I don't know if you guys ever played regs on uh, 2K. It has, like, different brackets. Like, if you want to play tier one, you're playing with the top five teams. Boom. You you hit A and you, you search for one of the games with the top five teams. Honestly, as crazy as... Bro, nobody plays like like 2K, like just head-to-head. Yo, 2K head-to-head kind of has some fire, like, concepts behind it. Really. Because, like, you'd be a rookie, right? And you would have to play a game of Tier 1, then a game of Tier 2, then a game of Tier 3. You'd have to, like, win three a game of each tier to move up. I'm saying it was dope, for real, for real. And I don't know if people really played uh, 2K head-to-head, but I played it a little bit. I was like, yo, this is pretty cool. Yeah, but you can only play all-time Lakers, but you'd you'd be able to play with a good team all-time versus all-time Lakers. Contain what snap? What does contain? I hate when people say contain blitzes. Somebody fucking explain that to me because I'm gonna snap. Snag, you're gonna piss me off saying contain blitzes. What is the difference between a contain and a regular blitz? Go. Someone tell me right now because I I'm going to fucking strangle one of you guys. But what and what's the difference between seven seven and quarterback contain and seven seven blitzing? What's the difference? They warp into the O line, so they get blocked. Is that what happens with? Is that what happens with contains? They they warp into the O lineman. The DB off the edge that doesn't get picked off a lineman. So you want the DB to get picked up by your lineman? Is that what? You, is that what you want? So the DB that's all the way the fuck in the slot, you want your offensive lineman to pick. I'm just like. I just, I, I just. SC weekend league would be too. SC, uh, SC weekend league would have to happen the first week, you know, and they're not going to do it the first week. It's just salary cap is too expensive, really. I mean, a running back does cross block Jacob. You just, it's just the problem with the game is like, he does cross block if you slide like. If you want him to go across, you can get him to go across. But the problem is it's so to step up in the pocket and not block your running back. Like I have so much problem like actually blocking my running back from getting to the other side by trying to step up in the pocket. Cuz you know you can't move too much cuz the container gets you. So you got to step up a little bit, let your running back get by you. It's just not worth it really. I this is what I want. And, and we're going to talk about this all the time. I want my ID the mic to be who the running back blocks. And then my offensive line act appropriately. Yeah, saving settings is like, I, I don't know how to saving settings. I'm just going to put that right here. Yeah. No, Hawk. I, I, yeah, you'd have to slide the right way. But honestly, when I talk about blocking, I should I almost see 
exactly who my offensive line are going to block. Like, this is who he's going to block. Like, you see a little line towards that guy, essentially, like a little block icon when you hit the right trigger and hold the right trigger up. You should be able to see, like, okay, my left tackle is going to block the D end. My guard is my guard and my center will double team this guy. And honestly, there should be no double teams unless you hit double team. And this was crazy. You should double team. You should be able to double team three people. If you want to double team three people, let me double team three people. Snag, snag, honestly, snag. You honestly just don't know what you're doing. You really just don't know what you're doing. If your running back's blocking, you don't know. If your running back isn't blocking, you don't know what you're doing. There's ways to get your running back to block. You're just a little bit behind. That's all. And, and that, that's one of the craziest things, man, that people, people, and not that Snag is one of these people, but people that say that, they never understand the fact that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, you know, and it's hard to tell somebody like, bro, you don't know what you're doing. Like if I was Clint, bro, I would be fired in one hour of having Twitter. One fucking hour of having Twitter. Like, bro, shut up. You don't know what you're doing. Seriously. <laughs> Elongated audible animations. Yeah. But that, I mean, part of that is cool. You know? Yes, t- setting up blocking does take way too much time. Like let let let's uh, that uh, funeral. I agree. It's such a damn. Di- it's such a disadvantage. Like bro. It's such a disadvantage. Bro, you're right. Yo, setting up blocking takes fucking for hour hour, dude. It's just slide ID double team. Then fuck doing a hot route. <laughs> Flats not being viable against deep blues is is bad. Yeah, I, I mean, this is how I feel about a, a flat route against a deep blue, the best corner in the game against the shittiest tight end in the game. If it's a deep blue, should get it should get eight to ten yards for real for real. The fact the fact you can't throw flat routes against engage eight and be have a successful offense is is kind of shitty, really. No, calming down the crowd is tough. Let's relax. <laughs> yeah, they get no yards. Uh, part of that, I mean, identify. I think identifier is cool as um. I, if conductor had unlimited hot routes, yes, that would be. If conductor was unlimited hot routes, it would be a viable ability. I agree, but the fact that it adds one hot route is like, bro, get this shit out of here. Wasn't Conductor at one point unlimited? Like, you could do them drones fast as shit? I don't really remember. Take Lurker out. (laughs) Jehovah, you suck for that. Lurker needs to go. Stop throwing near fucking users, bro. Bro, I'll tell you this, man. Bro, I hate throwing over the middle of the field. Like, I hate throwing over the middle of the field. And what's crazy about Madden, when you first learn to play, your first your first passes that you throw are like, what's over the middle of the field? Drag, crosser. Like, five wide is the bot offense, right? Drag, crosser. Drag, crosser. Drag. Like, it's the bot offense. But you, the best players... Bro, they're attacking the sideline. I don't want to go anywhere near a user. A user is unpredictable. What the computers want to do, I can predict that. I've seen it a million times. So you see all the best passers, bro. They don't want to throw anywhere near the middle of the field, really. Seriously. I would say half of the abilities suck. We can add more abilities. Abilities are a fucking W. I will, I will argue that t- till I'm dead in the grave. Abilities are cool. Uh, they get a thumbs up from this guy. 
Rack animations are really bad. But I think that's, uh, Jay, well, I think that's that lean into, uh, we want them to use grab and go. I feel like this, man. Oh, shit. This is how I feel, right? With abilities, hear me on this chat. With abilities, as we talk about this, with abilities, I feel like salary cap and mutt are completely different. Because I feel like salary cap Yo, if I want to have every ability, in a, if I want to have 11 people on my team with abilities, I am paying a salary cap for that. I should be able to have that. If I want all my receivers to have grab and go, I should be able to do that because it costs me so much cap. Does anybody Is anybody picking up what I'm putting down? I feel like salary cap, you should not be limited to three people. If you want to put five different players with abilities out there, you are paying the cap for that. So it's going to hurt your team so much. It is going to hurt your team so goddamn much, but it's going to help you the best way. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, seriously, what is the downside of that? What is the downside? Say say I want to have every, like, like what could possibly be, oh, four pass rush elites. Let's, let's get, let's put, I mean, I guess people with no quarterback can do that. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, for me. I mean, Dre, dude, I have completely, I honestly, I, I, drags are completely, the drags are super ass this year, I think. It's so bad, j that drags aren't even like, bro, like I used to run tight offset, right? With two drags, like this. Pick a drag, you can't stop both of them. I'm going to get five, six yards all the time. They are so damn bad this year that I'm better off with two hitches. Hitches, hitches guarantee five yards. Drag, if you get five yards on a drag, you're happy. I think abilities really are a W. I think they are. I think they're cool. I think they're exciting. I think they're content. I think I think I think they're good for the game, really. They definitely need a lot of help. But this was the first year they did abilities. And the first year they had abilities. So they I just hope I just hope Madden I put in, I hope Madden twenty one is is close to Madden twenty and that not that it's the same level, not as not that it's the same game, but they just build on the positives from Madden 20 and try to get rid of the negatives. That's what I hope. I hope we don't go a whole nother, just a whole nother direction and start another shitty one. Yes, abilities are the whole game. Jay, what that's uh, the game is abilities. That's why I'm saying if I want to have 11 abilities, why the fuck can't I have 11 abilities? That's all I'm saying. If I'm on salary cap. Now, Mutt, I don't even know how to regulate that shit. I really don't. Clicking on needs to get way better. I don't know what. I, I feel like I click on pretty good and it makes a difference. I mean, it would never be, it would, on Mutt, I don't know how you would do it on Mutt, but I feel like salary cap, if I want to have three offensive linemen with pass blocking, and I want to have two wide receivers with an ability in my quarterback, if I want to pay 1200 cap to do that, I should be able to do it, seriously. Yeah, I'll be honest though. I feel like this year was the biggest clicking off your defender year ever. I think this year, clicking off your defender, this was the, the biggest year for that, honestly. Yeah. How about Enforcer not being an ability? I don't know. There's so many things, but I... I... 
I mean, we we have to we have this is how I feel. We have to, and this is where we where, where I you know I just reference my list over here. Realistic and pipe dream wish. I I think we can agree that abilities aren't going. Abilities are here. They're here. You know, I don't think you can commit to something that wild as EA committed to abilities this year and then not stick with it. You know what I'm saying, Chet? I don't think they get rid of the abilities right after one year. I think abilities are locked and loaded to keep going, you know? So we have to, like, figure out, you know, how to continue to make them better, really. Yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. I think, I, I'm not going to say, I think we got to just, we got to get, we got to be locked and loaded that they're going to be here. You know, that, that and then they're going to be part of the game. How are we going to then help them become better? Or essentially, like, how are we going to help or what do we want them to become, essentially, is what I want to do, really. I think, and we talk about, but I don't know what bumper cars, what bumper cars means. I'm assuming, like, to, I think the tackling in the game is the worst part of the game. Tackling is the is the worst part of the game. Like the defenders are rag dolls, and like I think tackling, especially tackling in a crowd. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have an an easier ability tackling in the open field than you do in like a crowd. You know, I feel like like defenders don't really have arms. They're just a, a midsection running, right? They can't reach out and make plays. You know, they can't, like, slow down the running back. You know? Like, if you see a running back go through a hole in real life, he's getting grabbed, bumping into people, and he's slowing down. And Madden, bro, he just gets in that bitch and just takes off. Nobody grabs him. Nobody pulls his shirt. Nobody pulls his pads. You know, it's just like, add a couple more animations and get get my DB having his arms. Like, yeah, I'm in the open field. I might get juked, right? I might get jukebox, but can I reach out and grab his jersey and maybe slow him down so somebody else can catch him? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I honestly I don't really have a problem with drop picks. I I, I don't I, I think uh from what man's been my whole life, this is as best as it's ever been with interceptions, uh, especially on an all Madden level. I, I, I honestly it happens if you I like like I will tell you this, in my experience, in the last two years of Madden, there are more drop picks in real life NFL games than I have experienced in Madden, period. That's how I feel about drop picks. I watch more DBs drop interceptions in real life than I see on my game when I play Madden. So as much as Madden is, a, it's not real life, is it? but I mean, at some point you have to like, I feel like Deion Sanders gets his hands on the ball, he is picking the ball off. You know, if Patrick Peterson gets his hands on the ball, he is picking the ball off. You know, I don't know if the rating really matters, like catching and ball skills, but I mean, my goons, I catch the ball. I'm serious. Madden has gotten a lot, a lot better at drop picks. I will tell you, on all pro and all, all on mutt, yes, it's fucking, it's not as good as all Madden. You play salary cap, you make a bad read, you're throwing a pick. That's how I feel. I really, truly, I, I, I truly feel that. Of course, it's not going to happen 100% of the time, but I feel like interceptions are, um, I feel like they're, they're, they're not a bad thing. As many things we have to complain about, catching picks and actually making plays on a ball and, and stuff like that is not one on my list, you know? Yeah, and honestly, Tyler, that's another thing that has gotten a lot better, bro. Swatting, uh, going for picks instead of swatting, that used to be one of the worst things in the world. It used to be the worst thing in the world. The way your DB used to swat shit, it's like, bro. You know? But like I said, I want to add at least one thing to this list. Let me go ahead and save this so I can we can reference this every week for the rest of the... Uh, for the rest of the year. Let me put this in my man graphics. Let me podcast and put it in here. I will reference this. We'll reference this every every week and we will add one thing every week. So in two weeks or something. This is what I'm saying. 
in two weeks or, or, or in two months, we will have a crazy list, you know, and then we can, this is what we can do. We can post the list. We can act Clinton it and we can just really get it popping. Okay. So that is why I wanted to talk about wish list. It's not a one show type of thing. Witness Warzone just don't be popping like the stream don't be popping on on Warzone, bro. Plus Jesse's ass. Vilma don't Vilma's probably ass. I don't know. The stream don't be popping, and just honestly, the stream has been super popping on MLB and Weekend League. So it's like for me, it's like it, it's kind of like. Playing Warzone is kind of like how you guys play video games. Like, I can really only play Warzone, like, I can only play Warzone kind of in my off time. If you know what I'm saying, chat? Like, I have to put work in on Madden and, and MLB right now. Like, I have to work for 8, 10 hours a day. You know, and what's crazy is, like, as much as, all right, I started to stream about two hours ago, right? But I was working two, three hours before that, getting all this shit ready, you know, going through my list and all this preparation and shit like that. So it's like, uh, Snag, I think we can mix it in with both, really. I think man coverage is, uh, I, I never think man coverage is good. I, uh, for me, uh, ah, you think a great boat have a little pole? Each that's not a bad idea. I am not ass, Jesse. You're tripping. My man Buster with the 10 months. That's my guy, man. Put some hennies in the chat for my man Buster. That is why I have the mustache. Honestly, I feel like the mustache is lit. I feel like the mustache is like... I mean... I almost want to sh- just keep the mustache. Until quarantine's over, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have to have clickbait. I just feel like the, the yo, I honestly, I do feel like, nah, Vilma, everybody tells me, Vilma, that was, was going to be my 2000 subs was going to be shaved the eyebrows, but everybody tells me they take forever to grow back, bro. They got me scared. No, Jehovah, honestly, what it is, is the chat don't be popping. You know what I'm saying? Like the chat is what makes the stream and the chat don't be popping during, uh, during MLB or during Call of Duty, like MLB, the chat is the chat is lit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, two thousand subs, I'll, I'll I'll I will shave the top of my head and only grow out the side. Really. Oh, we popped the henny last night. Soldier is open, bro. This be this yeah, so P. You know I'm saying so we could have a good night tonight. The one thing I hate though. MLB, bro, you cannot play like drunk like that, bro. Madden, I could just get lit and play my head to head, like, and have fun. Yeah, you can't play music. It's kind of like, shh. yeah, Dave. You know, I, I don't pour it in uh in soda all day. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit, you got to babysit the privilege. You can't, you can't, you can't TBO Vilma the privilege, bro. You, this not the twenty dollar bottle you get from 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 the bodega. All right. You got to babysit the privilege, you know? Eddie Eyeball Tinder account. Yeah, two months. Yeah, T-Swag. I'm cool, bro. Hot Ones Challenge. I'll order the Hot Ones Challenge right now, man. We can do that. Yo, whatever. Listen, listen. Y'all make a list and we will do it. If we get to 2,000 subs, 19, whatever. Yo, the list is done, bro. Hot Ones Challenge. It will get done. It's not. It's. It's not a big deal, Chad. It's really not. You know. It. No, honestly, long hair, bro. I mean, if we get, I'm just saying. Witness, stop it. I have a high tolerance for heat. I do look kind of crazy with this mustache, with no, no chin hairs. It's pretty nuts. I'm not getting a stash emote, bro. But like I said, this was the uh, Need a Podcast episode 77, bro. So if you have any ideas for the wish list, man, please put them joints below in the comments. Hit the like button. You already know if you're still watching this, this time put your PayPal. I blessed. Honestly, chat, you'll believe me. I did bless about four or five people with $10 on the cash app because the people really do be watching this bitch two hours into it. You know what I'm saying? They enjoy the podcast 
content. It is popping, bro. I look like a creep uncle. But this was episode 77. Hit the like button, man. Thumbs up this bitch.